In this video, I want to talk about my top six plugins for WordPress. Now, when you're starting out, WordPress is already a kind of a mess of functionality and you have to find your way around. But there are actually a ton of more plugins available and those add on to the WordPress functionality and give you even more options. Now, here I want to focus on the six plugins that I think are kind of necessary or mandatory for every installation. To actually install and plug in, you go into the WordPress admin interface and then you click the plugins area down here. From here, you can just click the add new button and here you actually have the popular, the featured, and you have the search for the plugins. In my opinion, of these that are actually here on the page, if you're not creating a network, then the BuddyPress is not really necessary. If you're not creating a forum, the BBPress is also not really necessary. And that way it is really, this page doesn't really help much. However, these plugins end up here, I don't really understand how the featuring works, but these plugins are not really something I use personally. I just search for the plugins that I want to use and then you have the whole directory to choose from. But there are a couple of plugins that I want to focus on today. The first one is called iTheme Security. And iTheme Security is a plugin that adds a lot of functionality in terms of security to your website. For example, you can have it set to force HTTPS. You can also do kinds of backup services. You can hide your administration interface, which I always do because the standard WP minus admin is kind of a giveaway or yeah, it's kind of an open way to show people that uh, uh, there is a WordPress installation and hiding your administration interface on an actually different website domain, for example, something like universitychooser.com slash secret admin interface, which would be more complicated because it's not the default, because then the hacker would actually have to know where your admin interface is uh, stored or your login page. So this plugin actually has tons of functions. There are more than 30 ways to protect your site, as you can see on this cover photo. I will not go into detail how to set up each and every single of those plugins. Please feel free to either comment below or if you want me to set up all the plugins for you, then we can also work together. But in general, go through the settings and read the descriptions. They are really well done and the plugin is very, very premium in terms of all the functionality and how it's presented. Additionally to this free theme, the iTheme company also offers a pro service, which then has some add-on features like off-site backups and stuff. But in general, I would recommend to have the free version of this plugin installed on every website I use WordPress with. The second thing I always use on every installation is the Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insights. This essentially is integrating the Google Analytics into your WordPress. So you have a very easy way to set up Google Analytics for your WordPress page, link it together, and then it automatically puts the code to the right place and you can start using the Google Analytics for your site. Now, if you like Google Analytics or not, it's a different story. I use it on almost every page and that gives me great insights on what the users are doing how long they are staying and where they came from. Overall, a very powerful tool and something that I also have on almost every website. Next is the Disable Comments plugin. And I mentioned this before. I use WordPress for a lot of things, but rarely ever for actual blogging. So I don't really want comments on my pages because those are actually not at the right place in that moment. I much rather have my conversations on Facebook, Instagram, or on Twitter. So I don't even like to have the comment area on the pages or the blog posts. So this is the plugin that I use to disable all the comments and it's very simple to set up and you have just a couple of settings where you can decide how to disable them and where to disable them and it makes the whole platform a little more secure as well because comment spam is one of the biggest problems of the WordPress ecosystem so this way you kind of take away one of the ways people can annoy you. Then of course we have the Yoast SEO which is used by over 3 million pages and it's definitely in my opinion one of the best plugins to use in terms of SEO. And I think having at least one of the SEO plugins installed is absolutely mandatory because it helps you a lot in terms of searchability and findability. And you can set so many things in the custom settings in the meta descriptions and anything that is surrounding the whole SEO topic. You can set the feature pictures for Twitter and Facebook. You can set different titles for the different sites and you can test different things. It is absolutely powerful in the free version. And if you want to upgrade later on, that is also possible with this plugin. 
then of course there's all the hard work you're putting into your website and you want to back up all that. That's the point where the Updraft Plus plugin comes into play and here you actually have a free plugin again which offers tons of options in terms of backups and it basically supports all kinds of off-site backups so you can store your backup not only on your server because if you lose that server or the web space gets deleted or something like that a backup that is stored there will not be helpful. So you can actually set this up to work with Dropbox for example so actually the automated backup will be uploaded to Dropbox stored there and if you actually have to roll back to an old version you can do that with this plugin as well. They also offer premium services where they store the backups for you and do all kinds of different backup things. I have this set up just for the backup stuff and it's absolutely helpful and it makes me feel much better and sleep better as well. I have had a couple instances where this backup solution actually helped me save either time or a complete website because it got hacked or in terms of time it also is very helpful to kind of make a backup before you change a lot of stuff and if then something got broken you can just change it back to the version before. And the last plugin I want to talk about today is the 404 page plugin. There is a custom 404 page plugin built into the X theme and you can activate it from the extensions area. But not everybody is using the X theme so this is the solution that I would recommend using if you don't. Basically what this plugin does it gives you the option to create a custom 404 page where most of the themes actually have a 404 page but maybe you want to have a 404 page that says something completely different from what the normal theme actually offers. So this is a way for you to build a completely new page and then have that as your custom 404 page and this is just the easiest way to make that work. Overall the whole ecosystem of WordPress offers tons of plugins and these six are just the tip of the iceberg. But for me these are the plugins that I tend to use almost on every website. Now if you need help with any of the plugins please leave a question down in the comments below or email me if you want to work with me to set up your website or make it more secure. Also give this video a like if it was helpful for you, share it with someone who needs a little inspiration what plugins to install on his system and also leave a comment if you want to know more about one specific plugin. Maybe I will make videos about specific plugins in the future and how to set them up. Now subscribe to this channel for more videos like this almost every day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.